All right, so I'm late to X-Men 97, primarily because I was trying to get caught up with X-Men the Animated Series. I had never watched it (laughs) before as a kid. And color me shocked and aghast because X-Men 97 is amazing. (laughs) Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed X-Men the Animated Series. I thought it was good, you know. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really hold up as one of the great cartoons. In recent years, I've rewatched stuff like uh, Spectacular Spider-Man or Avatar The Last Airbender, and I think those hold up as being, no, 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 this is just an amazing series. X-Men the Animated Series, I just think a lot of it is a little too campy. Um, a lot of the voice acting doesn't really hold up. Animation is, of course, dated. Some dialogue is kind of cringy. But X-Men 97 somehow manages to feel exactly true to the original animated series while somehow elevating it to being an incredible show with incredible writing, great voice acting, incredible animation, obviously carrying over a lot of the political themes and messaging, just elevating all of that beyond anything I could have ever expected while still again remaining faithful to the tone and feel of the original animated series. It's actually kind of incredible what they've done here. But yeah, like in my opinion, X-Men 97 is infinitely better than the animated series ever was. I don't know if that's a hot take, but mind you, I literally just finished watching it and dove right into X-Men 97. And actually will answer a question that you might have of, Do you need to watch X-Men the Animated Series in order to watch X-Men 97? And I'm going to say, no, you don't need to watch it. If you want to watch it, if that's like a a journey you want to go down, I'm not going to discourage anybody from doing that because it's a solid show. I I think it's still enjoyable. But if in your mind you're like, "Eh, I don't think I want to watch the five seasons of the animated series. Or if you start watching X-Men the Animated Series and you're like, Eh, this doesn't really hold up all that great. Just jump to X-Men 97. X-Men 97 is infinitely better than the animated series, and they do a good enough job of catching you up with all of the things that you need to be caught up with. But also, to be clear, it is very much a follow-up to the animated series, so if you watch the animated series, you will be rewarded with already knowing who the characters are, already understanding their relationships. And yeah, you'll feel the satisfaction of seeing this thing that you've been binge-watching be updated to such an insane degree. I would argue that the most impressive thing that X-Men 97 does is it immediately makes uh, these sort of status quo relationships much more interesting. Like, Jean Grey and Cyclops, they're a couple, they, you know, they've had fights in the past, there's a whole Dark Phoenix saga, but for the most part, they are the standard perfect couple of the show. Oh, Jean's pregnant. Oh, shit. (laughs) Like, immediately, you're so much more invested in their relationship. You have uh, another love triangle, which I don't necessarily want to spoil what the love triangle is. But when you get to it, it's like, oh, what? You're telling me that this is going to be a thing now? Excuse me. (laughs) And also, Cyclops. Holy shit. Uh, (laughs) I remember growing up as a kid... Um, X-Men fans were really upset by the Fox X-Men movies because they shafted Cyclops and made him lame. And, you know, growing up as a kid, I was like, okay, I believe you, but I I don't have any context for that. It feels like the people that were saying that grew up and are the people making this series because they make Cyclops a complete badass. And yeah, when you see him become the leader of the X-Men, I unironically got chills. Speaking of chills... Holy shit, Storm! They really give Storm her due here. All of her entrances are so fucking badass. And there's also a specific moment where they're in a desert and her entrance comes in and the score is incredible and lightning is hitting the sand and creating glass. And it's just like, holy fucking shit. (laughs) And by the way, Storm is another good example of how they've kept her very faithful to the animated series but like in the animated series she would do the things where she was like lightning strike down on the ground or some shit like that and in the animated series it it becomes charming in its own ways but it is very corny (laughs) whenever she does that in x-men 97 she still does that but they make it so much more badass where like every time she yells what she's doing i just get chills (laughs) and oh my god magneto is 
so good in this show. I'll just say there's a court scene with Magneto. I think that's my favorite scene in any X-Men thing ever. The writing is so good. Everything that he's talking about with the strife of mutants and humans and relating it to the Holocaust. And in real time, you see him holding back his anger because of the promise that he made Charles. It's like, it's so good. It's like right up there with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 of, Hey Marvel, yes, please, can you give me more of this? More of this? Less of this, please. <laughs> and I will also address this other thing of, yes, the, the show is political. And I'm actually really glad I rewatched the animated series so that I can very clearly and explicitly tell the people that would be the ones to complain about this sort of thing. Bitch! X-Men is political! At least the animated series is. I, I, I've never read the comic books. The animated series was very political. There was literally a mutant KKK. <laughs> so yes, they like recreate January 6th. That's not out of line of what the animated series would have done. <laughs> okay, just so we're being clear. <laughs> Magneto is a literal Holocaust survivor. This is a very political series. It's never been hidden. It's never not been overtly in your face. Like, listen, I understand that people are all like, get politics out of my media. This is not the show to do this with. But yeah, speaking about the politics and the messaging, I think it's very well handled here. When you have the storyline of the X-Men and it is humans versus mutants, like, yeah, you're gonna have humans that are extreme bigots and you're and you know they have a, a speech in here by a human character that is straight up bone chilling <laughs> and feels uh, very real to um how some people may or may not feel about my minorities and stuff like that <laughs> but anyways listen i cannot recommend this show enough i am honestly very surprised at how good this show actually is and again i want to emphasize you can watch this without watching the animated series like i'm not telling you not to watch it if you want to go down that journey you can but don't give yourself any excuses to not watch this incredible show but anyways let me know what you feel about it if you like it do you hate it let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video goodbye